Welcome to YouTube. We are doing free code camps, JavaScript algos, and data structures, basic JavaScript course. We are on challenge 55, which is assignment with a returned value. So I, if you've followed any of the previous challenges we've done, um, I've talked about this a little bit, but basically what they're saying here is a function is if you assign a function to a variable, it is equal to what that function returns. So, uh, with assignment operators, you know, everything to the right of the equal sign is processed before the value is assigned. So, if it's a math, a little equation, it'll process that and then assign it to the variable. Same thing if it's a function. This means that we can take a return value of a function and assign it to a variable. Assume we have a predefined function, sum which adds two integers together. Okay, so we have a variable called rsum, and it's equal to this function, sum, and it adds these two together. That's the same as saying rsum is equal to 17, because we know that this sum function simply adds these two together and returns that. So we'll call it sum function, which returns a value of 17 and assigns it to rsum. Okay, so that's, I think, uh, for me, at least when I was learning this, it was a helpful way to think about it, is that a function is equal to what it returns. So that whatever this returns is equal to our variable. We can assign it to a variable just like anything else. So for this challenge, we're going to call the process arg function with an argument of 7 and assign its return value to the variable processed. Okay, so... We're simply going to change the code bold line. So we see we have a variable process, it's equal to zero. And then we have a function that takes in a number as an argument. And within this code, it does its little maths, it does its little logic, and it returns something. It returns something, that's the key. So whatever we assign this function to, whatever variable, it's going to be equal to this return statement with whatever we gave it. So we want to set process processed equal to process arg 7 so we're calling this function here and we're passing it a value 7 which is the num and it gets mathed it gets into that little equation and it gets returned which is equal to the function call which is now processed so processed was 0 we assign it to that to the function and now if we console log processed, you'll see it is now changed because the variable is equal to whatever the function returns now. All right, 50%, it looks like we're halfway. Hope this helped, hope that clarified things, and uh, hope to see you in the next video.